Today we're going to talk about where this holy book called the Bible came from. And in order to help us understand, we're going to talk about an important teaching of the Lutheran Church, which is verbal inspiration. You see, we believe that God has inspired the writers of Holy Scripture to record it for us. And that makes us a little unique amongst other religious groups. You see, there are some religious groups that believe that the Bible basically fell out of heaven. From God, directly to man, through prophets or teachers. So this is basic teaching of the Muslim religion and also Mormons with the Book of Mormon. There are others who believe in what we would call a mechanical inspiration and basically that God kind of took over the people so that they wrote down every single word exactly as he said, which is why I'm surrounded today by robots. So if somebody believes that the Bible was mechanically inspired, it'd be no different than me moving this robot up and down or left or right, and the robot does exactly what I said it should. Some people believe that that is how the Bible was inspired. We believe that God operated a little bit differently, and that he used his Holy Spirit. And instead of taking people over or removing them from the equation, that God actually used the human authors and allowed them to record it in a way that was unique to them. The scripture that we go to for this is 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Here, St. Paul is written, All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. So, uh, what this means is that each writer recorded the word as they would in their own natural language. This is why the Bible is written in Hebrew and Aramaic and Greek, because people from those different languages uh, were allowed by God uh, to see things and to record his will for human beings. Uh, we also uh, know that there are many of the writers of Holy Scripture who were allowed to see things. Think about St. John and Revelation or many of the Old Testament prophets. The things that they saw were completely overwhelming to them, especially when they were allowed to see into the next life or what things look like at the end of time. And yet they recorded faithfully and truthfully what they saw for us in a way that we can comprehend and understand. Doesn't mean that we got the entire picture, but God has allowed those human authors by the leading of his Holy Spirit to record for us what is absolutely necessary for us. And even though every single detail about life or where things came from or what's going on is in the Bible, what we need to know about ourselves, about our God, and most importantly, what we need to know about our relationship with God and Jesus Christ has been faithfully recorded for us so that the entire Bible, inspired by God, is a faithful witness telling us the truth about life, both now and forever. And because of this, the Bible, as it's inspired, is the greatest treasure besides Jesus that God has given to us. Please pray with me. Thank you, dear God, for allowing your servants, the apostles and the prophets, to write down your holy word for us, that we would know your will for our lives and know the truth about you, about uh, our relationship with you and your son Jesus, and the truth about ourselves. Help us always to treasure the Bible as your a great gift to us. And in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Blessings on your day.